Hi, my name is Zi Yu from the University of Sydney. In this video, I'm presenting our joint work titled Disentangling and Unifying Graph Convolutions for Skeleton-Based Action Recognition. This is the agenda and we'll start with an overview. Action recognition in videos is an important task with many applications. As an alternative to learning directly from RGB inputs, we can leverage post-estimation systems to instead recognize actions from the human skeletons. Traditionally, these skeletons are represented as a set of independent joints, and they model actions through handcrafted aggregation of the joint features. However, they often overlook the semantic connectivity patterns between the joints. Most recent methods now formulate actions as graphs where joints are nodes and bones are edges, and this can better capture the structure of the human body. With this formulation, a human action is then a sequence of graphs defined by the same adjacency matrix with changing node features over time. Most recent methods rely on graph convolutional networks to learn features from these graphs, where each layer involves two steps. First, neighborhood feature aggregation, and second, node feature update. On this basis, we focus on improving two aspects of existing approaches. First, factorized modeling of spatial temporal features, and second, multi-scale graph convolutions for spatial reasoning. Specifically, Factorized modeling means that we are learning spatial temporal features by interleaving spatial and temporal modules, similar to how factorized CNNs learn features from RGB videos. However, we argue that such formulation hinders the direct information flow for learning spatial temporal dependencies, which requires that joints with strong correlation to have high importance to each other. Factorized modeling may not achieve this because it can create feature bottlenecks at joints with high node degrees, where features can also become generic due to unweighted GCN aggregation. Ideally, we want to facilitate information flow within the spatial temporal graph. To achieve this, we propose G3D modules, which unify spatial and temporal aggregation into a single unit by introducing edges that span across multiple skeleton graphs. Here we show an overview of how it works. First, we perform a sliding temporal window over the input graph sequence and batch skeletons into a larger spatial temporal graph. Next, we extrapolate the spatial connectivity patterns directly into the spatial temporal domain. Then, to propagate features, we can perform the same graph convolution over these windows. Finally, we can squeeze the window features for subsequent layers. The second interesting idea is to go beyond local connectivity and extract multi-scale features. This is typically done with convolutions over adjacency powers, where k of neighbors become reachable when we raise the adjacency matrix to the kth power. Unfortunately, because there are more length k walks to closer nodes than to further nodes, this means that multi-scale graph convolutions are actually biased towards closer nodes. On skeleton graphs, this also means that features from local body parts will dominate. Ideally, we want to remove this bias so that we can model long-range dependencies more effectively. We therefore propose a simple method where we explicitly reset edge weights at each neighborhood. We do so by constructing k-adjacencies, where a pair of nodes share an edge if and only if they are k-hops apart. In particular, note that we are keeping no self-loops to reason about node relationships, as well as keeping identity information when no k-hop neighbors are available. The resulting multi-scale graph convolution will simply involve replacing the normalized adjacency powers with the normalized k-adjacencies. Finally, we can couple our proposals into a powerful feature extractor that learns multi-scale features directly in the spatial temporal domain. Our final architecture consists of stacks of convolutional blocks, where each block deploy a multi-pathway design. The G3D pathway on the left captures regional spatial temporal features, and the factorized pathway on the right complements it by providing a more economical way to model long-range dependencies. We tested our method on three large-scale datasets, NTU60, NTU120, and KineX400, and we show that our method consistently outperforms all results from last year. We also tested different number of scales of multi-scale graph convolutions, and we saw that there's a consistent gain when we use our proposed disentangled multi-scale aggregation. We also incrementally built up our model from the baseline, and we saw consistent gains with a similar number of parameters when we introduced the G3D pathways. We also tried different spatial temporal connectivity patterns, and saw that edges across both space and time are necessary. Here we show some correctly classified actions. Each column contains two actions that are visually similar, and our model correctly classifies all of them. Finally, typical failure modes include noisy inputs and minor body movements that are hard to detect. Our coding models are available online. Thank you.